peaks. We are out and about. And I'm going to my sister's university campus and meeting her at her accommodation. It should be a quick trip, like literally five minutes. Here we are, she's welcoming me in. I am in the University of Waterloo. Who lives here? You? I'm Who else? Friend. I'm actually just taking up to now because we're just leaving. Oh. Saying the baby. Oh, they're leaving forever? Yes. Oh, God, that's sad. And is this all international students? No, I, I didn't say it's cool, I said it's tall. <laughs> Here we have Lydia's uh, room. Um, Can we just have it on the record? I got back from New York late last night. And I've just been packing up all my stuff, and that's all just going to rock. So I could keep it. Like okay, this. so this is an organised mess, apparently. Um, let's just have a look around the room. We've got chest of drawers, got a little desk, plenty of sunlight. We, uh, what is supposed to be a wardrobe area, I think. All my hangers have gone now. Okay. Then we come on to the main area, the living space, a kitchen between two, mm -hmm. a sofa, oh, and the bathroom. guide and her textbook. Yes, I'm trying to sell my textbook. Why are you selling it, Lydia? The weather is just fantastic, glorious, so sunny, such a contrast to yesterday. My hands were literally numb yesterday being outside because it was freezing cold, but today it's a different story. Touring the University of Waterloo campus. There was just a few emotional goodbyes. I feel like I arrived at a little bit of an awkward time, everyone. But they're all going off in groups, aren't they? So yeah, some of Lydia's university friends are coming to Banff with us. So what do you call it? Are all the roads called a highway, Lydia? Or... No, that's just the highway. Can we cross here? Sorry? Is this the tram? This is the tram, guys. We have to be careful the tram's not coming. Is that... This is a bait to go down. Oh! We're off to um, sell her textbook. I don't know where else we're going. Is this what? Where did you go for lectures, Lydia? Let me show you. Oh, we're going to see her lecture halls. We're going to see the accommodations she moved out of. There was a bit of a saga when she first moved out here that her accommodation was terrible. Nearly made her want to come home, but it was fine. She moved, and her new accommodation, I, I have deemed it to be of a pretty high standard. So I'll be interested to see how the old accommodation compares. And it was only five hundred dollars more for the new accommodation. Uh, what's this factory industrial? Yeah, this is the ugliest library I've ever graced by any human imagination. The library. Woo! One of the libraries is DC. What does DC stand for? Dana. Davis Center. Okay. Tim Hortons, apparently a Canadian delicacy, says Will. Everything's a little bit shut, but where are we going? Uh, we're going to sell my textbook. I'm going to sell her textbook in here. This is our seat, but we used to do that even for lunch, don't we? And we come for lunch here. Are you off from FaceTime, Lydia? And she would be in the SLC. Isn't that right, Lydia? Right. There's a Tim's in here as well, but the other end. Wow. Masks are mandatory in, in campus. on campus. As a campus dentist. Yeah. Have you been? No, Campus dentist. Gosh, what doesn't this place have? It doesn't look open though. Yeah, I don't think you can sell it here today. It's open at 9am tomorrow. Is it That's what bit? it's going to be then. I mean, how much are you going to get for it? How much would someone give you for that? Standards for data collection from human skeletal remains. It was quite expensive to buy. Do you want people to comment down below any offers they have <laughs> for the textbook? Yeah, any offers for textbook I won't have after tomorrow, great. Student Village 1. Well, 
let, let's go, let's go investigate. Let, let's pass the judgment, we can give it a rating. Shower curtain, that's a shower I used to use. <laughs> So this is a bathroom that Lydia really hated. It's a communal bathroom between how many people? 18. What? And the girls from next door used to use it. This was the shower. That's the big shower as well. There's two curtains. Oh, marble on these showers. Did you ever have to queue for the shower? Uh, no. No. At least it's not that bad then. So Lydia's old room apparently was uh, in here. Mm -hmm. She's it's had fond memories. Fond memories. Good not going in there again to be honest. Okay. Let's go then. Lunch, apparently. This gives me Cavendish vibes. I don't know if any, any of you know, but the Cavendish was the physics lab at Cambridge, which I went to the whole time for practicals. Like anyone else who's done physics at Cambridge or natural sciences at Cambridge, does this not give you Cavendish vibes, this hallway? This is a maths building. Florence was the lecture. She went skating before. You had lectures with Florence? We did immunology together. Oh, that's nice. You sat at the back? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. That's why the people who don't focus on lectures sit. No, we did the lectures. Okay. It's from the back of the room. Here we have the biology lecture theatre. I'm going to go give a lecture. Okay. Class, today we are starting with Unit 6, the GI function. We have the lumen in the middle, surrounded by squiggly red and green lines. Excuse me, I've got a question. What does GI stand for? It stands for general insurance. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was gastrointestinal tract. This is actually scale. This is the room. Uh, yeah, you have the serosa, which are about like the tip of the tongue. Yeah. And then you have the serosa, which are about like two centimetres. Why did they write all this out? You can't read it at the back. I don't know. I didn't write it. I'll have a word with your lecturer. That concludes today's lecture. Any questions in class? Can we leave? Yeah. Off we go to Mel's diner. Lydia's recommendation for all day breakfast, fry shakes, burgers, and LLBO, whatever that may be. Lydia's running route because she was in a running group. She is a fitness enthusiast. How far can you run, Lydia? Uh, the furthest I've gone is 20k. You've gone 20k, and how far could you run before coming out here? About 6k. 6k to 20k. Progress. So, we have just had ice cream. The afternoon was spent playing rounders, and do you know what? I actually really enjoy rounders. Good afternoon activity to do on a sunny day. Not that I'm any good at rounders. Takes me back to the school days, you know. Like rounders, right? Exactly. The video is flat. It's not quite packed up. She is leaving, but we're both heading off at midday tomorrow. But I'm not panicking. No. Well, I always think, and I always like whenever I was packing up a university room or anything, I always just sacrifice sleep. And I would stay up late packing or do it last minute in the morning. Because I think when it's the morning and you, you've got that deadline, you pack faster. I do. You go a bit more frantic. You, you need that urgency. Come into my door and ask me if I want to go for ice cream and do this and do that. It's like, oh. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of them are saying goodbye to each other, you know. It's your last... Yeah, it's the last day to see people. Last day. Some people say, oh, do you want to do this? I feel bad saying no. Yeah. Because it's like, do you want to do this? Oh, you clearly don't want to see me then. Yeah. Because no, I don't know if we've told them all, but the situation is, Lydia came out here in August, September? The beginning of September last year, I just met all these other people who were doing a year abroad um, from various different countries. And look, most of them from Europe. Yeah. Some of them are going travelling, but they're all going to go off to their respective home countries again. Lydia was saying that she's had a great time. Right? She's glad she did the year abroad. Recommends it. I'm kind of jealous. I'm doing great with names, though, everyone. I swear I've met 30 people today. Do you think I've met 30 people today? I don't really know. I reckon I've met at least 30 people today and I'm pretty sure I could name every single one of them now. Way to go me. 
as long as you know the nine people which have them most of the time. Yeah, I just need to know the nine which I've been with. They're the important ones. It's a bit awkward if you get like a few days in and then you're like, sorry, what's your name again? is a new day unpacked up because we are moving on today yesterday was good i'm a little bit sunburned i put sun cream everywhere apart from my face stupid decision so i think i'm gonna head to the mall and buy some after sun although to be honest i think yesterday it was like the most sun exposure we're gonna get like this whole time it's supposed to be warm today like 26 degrees but overcast and raining. There is a tram that runs from outside the mall to nearby my sister's accommodation. And I feel like I should try it out, you know, rather than Ubering around, but I've not got much time. I've only got an hour until I need to be at my sister's accommodation. Cause then we're hiring a car and going to Niagara Falls. I am so excited. So yeah, I will speak to you later. I'm gonna get going, check out my hotel. It's been a good stay. Hello, a little bit of a workout going on here with a case to pull up with me it's not a very scenic walk i won't lie but i've seen a big sign saying conestoga mall so i reckon i might have made it to the right place Turns out that after sun is not really a thing, at least in Waterloo, <laughs> it isn't. They have like lots of sun creams, but just no after sun. I'm now thinking I might whiz and buy some shorts because it's supposed to feel like 26 degrees today at Niagara Falls, and I'm like in black trousers. I think I might bake, so if I could just whiz to H&M quickly, but I don't want to make us all late heading off to Niagara, so yeah, bit of a rush. just got off the tram I made a friend on the tram actually everyone in Canada I swear just like strangers to speak to and are really friendly like normally when I'm on the train in the UK a stranger doesn't just strike up conversation with me but here they do <laughs> I've just got to get my bearings so I don't have any Google Maps so I don't have any mobile data out here and I don't have any signal it's either this way or that way I don't know which one I do know what the building looks like, so I'll know it when I see it, and it's in this area. Oh, I think it could be that building. That big one. It is. It is. I know where I'm going. Here we have Lydia and Rucksack. Rucksack and Lydia. It's a big rucksack. It's very heavy. She is going to go camping after I leave her down the west coast of the US. It's something like not such a hot idea. Yeah. Lydia's flat is all packed up now. Her room is bare. Her roommate is gone as well. There's four of us going to Niagara Falls today. So me, Lydia, and two of her friends who I believe are trying to squeeze their places in the car. The final walkout 